some ideas on how to defend yourself against a robot. Okay, well, first off, you could bust up their digits, right? We're going to use this here as, as an example of an aluminum-based robot and a metal-based robot. So what we have, let's, this is a simulated magnet, right? So what we have is a hot magnet, a hot molten something connected to a magnet that shoots out of a gun, and it comes and sticks onto the robot, and that molten will will f go in there and fry wires and connect the wires and it'll burn itself out. So the basic idea is to find a weak spot in the robot. Or if it's an aluminum based robot, you could have some like Kerbanger string thing that shoots out and wraps it itself and it's got hot hot objects on there like hot molten steel that shoots out of the gun and you know with chemical reaction inside like a special orb it continues to make a smoldering molten lava-esque that'll melt through the casing of the robot and into the wires and burn the wires and cause a short circuit so that's basically the best idea to encapsulate a robot if they're coming at you so you wanna you wanna do something like that because you know, there's there's always weak points within the joints of a robot too. You know, where they're they're connected, and uh, there has to be flexibility. And titanium is very expensive, and all other metals and stuff. So actually, you could even heat a robot from the outside with a torch, and, and that would cause the wires inside the case to melt too. So because they're not going to be very strong yet, because of the batteries and the life of them. So they're going to be so expensive, and they're going to be so light and and small and compact that they're going to pack the, the 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 body of the robot so close and, and snug to the wires that there'll be wires running right under the casing. So when you heat the casing with the blowtorch, it'll melt the wires. And uh, this is my new 727 transmission, by the way. I like that. It's United States. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's basically how you could uh, defend yourself against a robot, you know, or there's like the traditional way. If you got a camera, you bust out the camera. There's going to have to be a piece of glass there. If you can't cover it, you could bust it out. Uh, the speaker, you could shoot some crap in there, even some goo, even some like, you know, some glue or something or, you know, like... I don't know, you could take cake batter and put it over a camera and inside the microphone thing. And as, you know, like rope, you could tie up a robot. Because if you start tying up their digits and their limbs, they're going to be on their side and they're going to burn out. Because, you know, they'll just like be rendered inept. So it's, it's not hard. So you shouldn't be scared of all this Boston Dynamics crap about, you know, these robots are going to get us. You know, because at the end of the day, without willpower... And, and, you know, the fact that we can distinguish each other without having to relate our emotions to every single thing, uh, like, you know, the way we look and come across. Robots can't do that. So if robots see someone that's having a seizure that's autistic, they're going to say, holy shit, this person's violent. And they're going to kill that person. So robots fucking suck for a lot of things, you know, as, as well as taking jobs and stuff and, and purposes away from people. But basically there. So you got a hot magnet and you got something like, you know, Something with, with a couple objects to do a wrap around, and then you got your traditional stuff like this, and then you got a blowtorch, you know. And that's how you that's how you would kill a robot if you wanted to, basically. Peace.